guys, before I get into this week's video, I just wanted to let you know at the end of this video, I'm actually going to be um, announcing something. So make sure you stick around for the, for the end of the video. Well, guys, I appreciate you stopping by the video today. I want to uh, give a big shout out to all the new subscribers to the channel. Uh, we've just passed the 700 mark, um, which I'm just I'm just so excited about. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you know, you know, I'm always very appreciative, uh, very appreciative to all you guys who take the time to watch my sometimes silly videos. Um, but I hope that um, it gives you 10 or 15 minutes of uh, of some entertainment. And that's really what YouTube is about. And as someone who has started putting out, you know, weekly videos, um, it's very addictive. <laughs> I just enjoy this uh, part of the week of being able to maybe talk about the car, share with you guys on some events and things like that that I go to. Uh, so I want to thank you for um, for stopping by and subscribing. Uh, this week I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to actually just because I get so many. Um, uh, whether it's on Instagram or whether it's here on the channel where I get people that just have questions about, you know, what have you done to the car? You know, wh you know, those types of things. Now, pretty much everything I have done, I've made a video on. So there you can definitely see almost everything that I'm about to go over being done on some video. But I want to kind of give you just a breakdown of everything about this car. So the first thing is, is what I paid for the car. Um, now after the MSRP and uh, dealer discounts, all those types of things, I paid, I actually wrote a check for $84,797. So that's what it was out the door. Uh, the first thing that I got for it, none of these are really in any particular order. These are just the things I've done to it. Um, I did go and get a Max 360 um, radar, radar detector. Um, if you're going to have a car like this, definitely would recommend at least something that gives you back and front protection uh, when it comes to um, you know not getting any tickets because this is definitely a car that you can get uh, a ticket in relatively quickly and 650 is what are uh, with the mount that i used on the mirror and everything it was 750 bucks well well worth the investment secondly uh, i also got the ceramic pro 9h which is a uh, exterior cover on the on the car uh, that included a full paint correction as well as clay barring, all those types of things. And then I had the three application done to the car. Then I had the Corsa Extreme X pipes uh, put on the car. So I did the X pipe and the Corsa Extreme catback system. Um, now, the exhaust on a Z06 or a C7 uh, sounds really, really good. Um, with the MPP system that's in it, when you've got it in touring mode or one of the other type of modes outside of sport or track, uh, it kind of quiets the car down quite a bit. I just wanted mine loud all the time. So when I started up, it wakes up everybody in my neighborhood. Um, and if you're in the garage when it does start, you better hold your ears. But the cold starts are cool, but not only that, when you're out there, if you've watched some of my videos, you can hear the exhaust just going crazy um, when I'm out there on the on the highways. Um, and, and again, that install was three grand. Uh, then I got rid of the crappy, crappy Brembo brakes. If you buy a C7, if you buy a Z06, it's not going to take you long to realize, oh my God, my wheels, I'm cleaning every single time I drive this car. So go to a ceramic brake. If you don't have the C C7 package on it, uh, get rid of <laughs> just get rid of the Brembo brakes. Make it one of the the first things that you're gonna do when you buy a Corvette. Go with the ceramic. I went with the Hawk ceramics on the front and the back. That installed was 475. Then I did the the uh, cold air intake, the A AFE uh, power cold intake. Um, that run I did myself ran 695. Then I changed out the splitter not once but yes twice. Um, the first one I did was a carbon fiber splitter ran me about $1,400. The second one was a carbon flash that I just recently put on just to blend in with the car plus it was half the price it was $700. Uh, I did the side skirts in the carbon fiber that ran me $700. I installed those myself. I did the phase two winglets, which are the winglets on the back of the car. These guys right here, uh, just, they do give more, uh, there is more drag on the car because of these, but they just look, they just look badass. Then I did the mud flaps. 
right here, the front and the backs. Um, installed those, they ran $130. I did a tent on the windows. This is probably one of the biggest questions I get on Instagram or the channel. <laughs> How dark are those? Uh, I actually have 5% on the fronts, uh, on the sides and the back. And then I have a visor that's 5% and then the, the front windshield's actually tinted at 30%. Uh, and that, all of that ran me uh, $400. Then I did the floor mats inside, um, which is just eye candy uh, Z06 floor mats. They ran $69. So that's a total cost, a total mods that I've done of $10,119. Um, so if you add that to uh, the cost of the car that I paid for it, I have about $94,916 in this beautiful car right here. Uh, so that brings me, if you go with the specs that you got from the cold air intake and the X-pipes, about 715 horsepower. Now, again, that's not crank horsepower, but because if it dynoed, it's going to dyno for less than that, but still fast. But, you know, when, <clears throat> what I can say about this car is, uh, is whether or not you want to call it a supercar you want to call it a sports car. I don't care what you call it. All I know is as a driver of this car is I don't know how you could spend this amount of money and get this type of performance. It's the best bang for the buck that's out there. You know, you can go and you can look at some of the McLarens. You can look at some of the Lamborghinis. You can look at some of the GT3s, you know, cars that are 150,000 and more. And this car either outperforms it or is right there with it. And again, I'm really big into American made products. Um, I mean, the garage doors that my company sells are made, uh, you know, the steel, everything's made right here in the US. So I like Oklahoma made, uh, I love US made products. And this is just, uh, well, I think one of the finest vehicles, sports car, supercar wise, that's built. It's the only car that if you go to Germany, you go to you know other parts of the world, this is a car that is well respected everywhere. And it's made right here, and it's a car that me and you can buy. This is the average Joe that's out there that you know you can work hard and you can get this car. Now, another big thing that I have, people have always asked me again, what do you do for a living? You know, how much, you know, I just told you how much I paid for the car, but you know, how what was the down payment, those types of things. Now, one thing I did mention is that I wrote a check for this car. You know, one thing that me and my wife, you know, we've been married now for 21 years. It's crazy. We just celebrated our 20, 21st year anniversary. Um, we've known each other since we, we met in high school. And so we were high school sweethearts. And, you know, one thing that we wanted to live our life was pretty much debt free. And we built our house. This is our house we built in 2007. And it's the only major purchase um, that we financed once we finally got to the point where we told ourselves we were no longer going to live, you know, in debt. So in 2007, we built this house. We said we're going to change the way we live our lives because we were like everybody else before that. We financed everything and basically you got up and you went to work um, so that you could pay, you could pay the bank. You know, we were all, you know, you're kind of a slave at that point and, you know, kind of a loose word there, slave, but you are slave to the lender. And so we decided we we're going to get out of debt and anything that we bought, we we're going to pay cash for. And so in 2014, we paid off our house. And in 2010, we started saving for our new cars. And we knew it was going to take us about five or six years to save up enough money in order for us to buy the cars we wanted. I, of course, wanted a Corvette. Didn't know I was going to get a Z06, but I knew I wanted a Corvette. And my wife wanted the latest and greatest SUV that was going to be out at the time. Um, so, again, I'm not here to say, hey, you know, we, we paid cash for all this stuff. I've got all this money. That's not my point at all. My point is, is if you're out there and you've been thinking, Chuck, I want to one day get a Corvette like what you have, or, you know, Chuck, I'm 25 or I'm 30. And, you know, that just seems like that's so far away. You, you just talked about wrote, writing a check for 84,000 like it was nothing. It, it was a lot. It was a lot of work. It was dedication. But what I want to basically give to you guys in this whole video is what the car has in it, but how we went, how I went about getting it, and you know, I, 
I, I don't always try to get on a pulpit or try to share my views on a lot of different things. I like to try to keep things factual, but I've just gotten so many questions from people that have said, you know, Chuck, you know, I'm 20 years old. I want to have a car like you one day, or, you know, how, how do I ever get to the point where I can have a car? I was in your, in your spot. You know, I was, um, but what I can tell you is that it's obtainable. And if you work hard, save your money, do smart things with money, you can definitely get you one of these cars. Well guys, what I'm gonna be doing with this channel in the future is, of course, when I bought the Corvette, I wanted to make a YouTube channel, hence the name Corvettes 918. And almost all my content up to this date has been about the Corvette. Well, that's gonna be a little bit harder to do as we get into the winter time. Um, you know, weather's gonna be down in the 30s, the 20s, you got snow, you got all kinds of stuff. And I'm not gonna be able to get the car out and do videos. Um, number one, these type of tires do not like cold weather. And then B, I'm not gonna get it out there for someone to, <laughs> someone to hit because of a slick road or something. So I wanna continue dropping a video to you guys every single week. So in doing that, going forward, I may, I'm gonna shoot some vlogs where I take you with me maybe to work or just out doing general things, fishing, or whatever it is I may be doing. But I also want to give back to you guys. You know, me and my wife, one thing that we love to do is we love to give to people. And that may be, you know, we may go out to Walmart, we'll find a family that we see shopping for groceries and we'll buy their groceries. Or maybe we're out at a restaurant and we'll see a family and we'll have our waiter go over and get their check and we'll pay for it without them knowing about it. Or maybe we're in a drive-through somewhere, and we'll say, "Hey, whoever's behind us, we want to pick up their, you know, pick up their meal, the the cost of their meal." So we do that because you know we enjoy doing that for other people. It blesses us. But I also want to do something for you guys that watch my videos each and every week. And so I've decided what I'm going to do is each and every month I'm going to do a drawing. And in that drawing, it's going to be for a $100 Amazon gift card. And I chose the Amazon gift card because probably 90% of you guys probably buy stuff off of Amazon. So I thought it'd be a way for me to give, give something back to you guys, something that you could use and do whatever you want to with. And how that's going to work is this. Each, I'm going to do at least four videos, sometimes five videos a month. And in those videos, I'm going to give you a word of the month. And that may be me picking up something and there's just a word on it, kind of like this. I may say, and the word of the month would be Callaway. It may be that I'm out somewhere and I got the camera and I go, wow, that's a pretty cool word. And there will be a word there. So you'll want to keep track of that word of the month because when the last video comes around for the month, I'll let you know this is my last video that I'm making for this month. You'll need to go down into the comment section and type in that word of the month. And I'm then going to take all of those comments and I'm going to move it into a software that will strip away anybody who's put more, put it in there more than once. So you can only get one opportunity uh, in the drawing or if anybody should spam it or something like that, it will get rid of those. And then I will then have the computer. Uh, it will give a, each, uh, each entry will get a number and then it will randomly pick a number. And then I'm going to let all of you know who the winner is via my Instagram channel or Instagram account. So you'll want to go follow me there at Corvettes918. I'll put the link below. And I'm going to give you one day, whoever the winner is, you have one day to uh, message me back, private message me back on YouTube. So you just go to message. You can do a private message. Message me. I will see that that's you because I'll know who the winner is. And you'll be replying underneath that same um, kind of username. Uh, that way, you know, I'm just not going to do it through Instagram or something like that because anybody could say, hey, I'm that person. But you got to instant me, private instant, private instant message me. I think I can say that. That's a tongue twister. Through the YouTube channel. And then I will then get your information and get you out that gift card. Um, and again, I'm going to start doing this, guys, when I get to 1,000 subscribers. And I'm at a little over 700 now, so I'm looking forward to getting the channel um, and growing the channel and then giving back to you guys who watch me every week. So, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week.